I wanted to work on a subject that was uh, popular culture and uh, I also wanted to work on a mass uh, phenomenon and so um, since uh, I played football myself I got interested in the football broadcasting in Germany and France. I come from Strasbourg. I knew pretty well uh, the German TV because we got it uh, um, when I was a kid and I always uh, saw a big cultural difference uh, um, between France and Germany not only in the way uh, people would comment games but also in the way they um, would edit and they would film it for example the money they would put into it because uh, actually uh, in France the uh, major sports event for the public television has always been the Tour de France whereas in Germany the identification vehicle uh, uh, as far as sports is concerned uh, has always been uh, football since television uh, started. The marketing of football and, uh, um, has uh, gone global and is very invasive. You, uh, now uh, the situations from uh, are not that different from one country to the other. But uh, in the 50s and 60s, you really note uh, uh, quite a difference uh, between France and Germany, especially um, in Germany. Uh, since the Federal Republic uh, was founded in 1949 and they had the uh, victory in the World Cup against Hungary in 1954 that was considered as the uh, emotional uh, birth date of the Republic and uh, of course in France we did not have a, a similar event to celebrate and uh, people uh, did not identify with the sport in the same um, way and on the other hand um, there was a heritage in Germany um, from uh, the uh, 30s and the Nazi era, the, um, the big stadiums that we did not have in France. And uh, so uh, all this contributed to the development of a very different uh, uh, culture in uh, football broadcasting. Today you would not see the difference uh, as, uh, as clearly because uh, actually uh, it is uh, because well, FIFA and uh, the UEFA they they have uh, done a lot to um, make uh, the spectacle of football so invasive as it is today. You everywhere you see pictures uh, all the time. The editing is different. That's true. Uh, but what is uh, um, how can I say that uh, the, the rule of the 180 degrees uh, is not violated, which means uh, you have a, a camera at the center of the field and two cameras at the height of uh, the 18 meters on each side. And you always have the, uh, you have only reverse angle when the, the game is stopped because otherwise the, the spectator gets confused. And this is the grammar that uh, still stands and whenever uh, they try to uh, film uh, the game differently, it confuses the spectators. It's uh, almost generalized. Uh, I think the BBC is not that way still. They have this laid back uh, uh, way of getting to things. The Germans, the public television is still in a, a BBC-like uh, uh, command, but in France, uh, since the, the money involved and the investment of the channels is so big they are always self-promoting the product yeah and that it explains a lot of the uh, hysteria in the comments and uh, so they, they always sell the games that are uh, broadcast as uh, being uh, worthwhile watching which they're not um, many times yeah Football uh, fans always do that. They compare anachronistically uh, eras and players like Pelé to Messi, etc. But uh, in the case of Pelé, he shot, uh, he scored 1,200 goals in his career, and you can only see about 100 uh, because the rest has not been filmed, or if it was filmed, it was lost. Like, uh, for example, when the video cassette came out, very often. Uh, the uh, sports 
uh, services uh, because they had budget difficulties or uh, because it was convenient, they would record uh, games on the same video cassette where there was already recorded material on, you see. And so uh, Pelé has a, a, a given a, an interview once, he said, the most beautiful goal I scored does not exist because the guys from TV Globo, which is the biggest uh, channel in Brazil, lost the cassette. Um, well, I, I'm 50 and uh, I stopped playing by the age of uh, 21, 22. And, but there is one game that uh, in those days uh, I, I played in a, uh, an amateur uh, uh, team in my town. And once we had a serious game and uh, it was, uh, I think it was the only game that was uh, video recorded uh, by an amateur, by a member of uh, the club. And uh, sometimes we watch it, uh, you know, as a, a relic of uh, our youth, yeah.